So, a dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. Alright, what's up players? It's Jack from Tell Let's Please here and today we are up in High Hrothgar and we are going to be learning some shouts. Uh, so, let's go. We will see if you truly have the gift. Show us, Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. False! Aha, uh -huh. how'd you like that? Dragonborn, it is you. Welcome to, to right. High Hrothgar. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn, why have you come here? Um, I want to find out we what it means here to be Dragonborn. To guide you in that pursuit, just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the dragon blood that came before you. You are not the first. There have been many of the dragon blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. Um, I'm ready you to learn. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But... Do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Uh, that remains to be seen. Without mm -hmm. training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, the second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Is he gonna do anything? Hello, sir. Um. I'm right behind you. You lead, I'll follow. What does he want me to do? Gosh. I honestly have no idea what he's getting at. Lydia, move out of the way. I've got your back. As you wish, my thing. What is he doing? Do something. What is wrong with him? Sky, guard you. When Hmm, now he does, so he must have been stood in the way. Jesus. <laughs> Alright, what a power learn. You work like a master. You truly do have the gift. But learning a word of power is only the first step. You must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. Ooh, this is cool. Alright, let's just uh, equip it. 
Oh, I don't have it yet. Wow. Devastating your own unrelenting force. force shout. The strike. Mm -hmm. as they appear. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. You'll notice how it like recharges in the top bar, shows you like the uh, mana, I guess. I don't know. Use both words. Both words. Okay. Use both words if you can. I shall try. Wasn't even aware I had both words. Use both words if you can. How? Use both foos and row. Together they will make the shout more powerful. Ah, uh, getcha. Hold it down and he does it. Wow, that was uh, embarrassing. Come on, next one. Hurry up. Do -do 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 -ch 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 -ch. I've got a pretty nice Very ring quick. on my uh, right hand. Once more. Yeah. Alright, I want to learn some more. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragon. Perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Boy. <laughs> oh, that looks cool. We gotta go outside into the courtyard area. Any attacks done while we've sneaking and undetected will do extra damage. Hmm. Do 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 do. Looks pretty cool, and like the graphics and stuff. It's pretty good. All right. Master mm -hmm. Boy will teach you wolf, which means whirlwind. Woof. Oh, wool. I want it to be a dog. You must hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a thing. Okay. Whirlwind, whirlwind sprint. Nice. Kinda looks like uh, Herbert the Pervert from uh, Family Guy, especially in Blue Harvest. That's what. That's who he looks like. If you don't watch uh, Family Guy, then you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, go on, Wolfgar. That looks pretty freaking awesome. Let's go. Stand next to me. Master Bory will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass On your marks. Get set. And... Go! Yeah. Nice. Your quick mastery of a new film is... Astonishing. Oh, thank I've you. I've heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself. <laughs> it's pretty cocky, that top one. Thought it was easy for everyone. I don't know how I do it. given this gift by the gods for a reason. It is up to you to determine how best to use it. You are now ready for your last trial. Yay. Retrieve the horn of Jorgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb. In the ancient vein of Ostengrad. Ah, oh, that sounds fun. Remain true to the way of the voice. You will 
return. All right. Well, we have just started a uh, new thing, so let's go ahead and see where it is on the old map. Oh, wow, really? That is miles away. All right, we should be able to uh, get a carriage to somewhere near there. So let's go ahead and uh, fast travel to Whiterun. And from there we can get a carriage up to a nearby city. And then we can go track down this horn. And uh, that sounds like a good idea. Uh-oh. Right Excuse me? Oh, forgive me, Thane. I didn't realize it was you. But look the other way this time. Even the Jarl's influence has its limits. Be more careful. Okay, right. It was annoying. Um, tell you what I can do is I know where the Golden Claw owner is, so we shall actually go there. He's down in Riverwood, so we shall fast travel to there instead. Go finish up that quest, and that'll be all handy dandy. Then we can uh, take a carriage up to where the horn is going to be, and we can leave that horn bit for our next episode. Uh, right. So if I remember correctly, he's like the merchant or something. Is he in here? Riverwood Trader, yeah. And this is also a place where I can sell my stuff. I don't know what you. Yeah, we did have a bit of a break in. We still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing: an ornament, solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. Hmm, funny you should say that. You found it. There it is. Strange. It seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? I'm going to put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. Alright, 400 gold for that. Thank you very much. Um, see ya. It means so oh. much to us to have the oh, good. Didn't actually want to make conversation, but whatever. Alright, so let's... Fast travel to the stables, because that's pretty much where the carriage guy is. We'll take a trip up, and then we'll have to leave it for the next episode to do that quest. Uh, so I think that's a pretty good uh, cliffhanger to end on. Um. Okay, where is he? Right. So, which town would we want to go to? Dawnstar, it's still pretty far away. Or Morthal. Morthal or Dawnstar is going to be where we want to go. Oh. Need a ride? And I carry you your go? carriage. Uh, let's go with Morthal. We'll Alright guys, so I think that's going to be pretty much it for this episode. If you could please hit the like button, that would really help me out. Um, thanks for all the support on my previous videos, it's been really awesome. So if you hit that like button, that would be really great helps others find my video, helps my channel grow. Uh, if you could also add this video to your favourites, that helps out even more. Um, and yeah guys, that's pretty much it. So thank you very much for watching. And make sure you stay tuned for the next one where we'll be retrieving uh, this horn. So yeah. Peace out.